Here's this cantilever roof all the way done. You can see there's a big window on the side that goes all the way through the whole front and then it also goes on the other side. So I'll show you how I did it. This is pegged into the top of this wall right now temporarily with just a couple of nails. My window. I'm not the one you need. Say you're looking for. Typical layout for truss is every two feet, but you go two feet and then another inch and a half, and four feet another inch and a half. It's different from a wall because a wall is every 16 inches, but 16 inches lands in the center of each stud. All right, I put the plywood on this whole thing, or sheathing rather. I left out a big section right here you may or may not notice, but I'm gonna put clear roofing on this so it'll be like a skylight so I can see what I'm doing in the shed when I'm trying to grab a tool without turning a light on. It'll be this kind of stuff. This is my greenhouse. Roof anyways. For those interested in the technical specs, the roof cantilever is a little less than half. Otherwise, it's bearing on this wall. It's tied down with a strap in this back corner, a metal strap that ties it to the, the studs, which then goes down to the bottom. And it has another bracket that is bolted in through the concrete with a bunch of nail holes that goes into the same stud. So this thing will not lift off the concrete no matter how much force is applied to the very end of it. But it does get a little bit of a spring in there. So I added a block. Yeah. So I added a block to stop it from springing a little bit, but technically it all holds just fine. This rubber gasket needs to barely pucker. Like that. Because you don't want to distort the roof. You just want to barely squeeze that little rubber gasket. There's the effect. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the darkness, but I think most of the people who watch these videos don't actually make it this far in the video, but sorry about the bad filming. Thanks for watching anyways, though. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to cover the roofing and how to cut it so it doesn't chip and look like garbage later. Thanks.